All right, all right, I'm back. And we're down here, 896 meters below sea level. The goal for this location, we're looking for, I believe it's called the primary containment facility. Yes. Constructed in a volcanic region at a depth of 1.4 kilometers. That's where we need to go. So we're ready to go. All the batteries are charged. My stats are good. I made sure that um, the Cyclops and the Prawn, everything was good off stream. It's time to go. So we need to go down to the magma region and then look around for a way to go down even further. We're out of the safe zone into hell. Okay, we're going to need sonar here. It's usually down into the right. Yes, down into the right. Okay. So we're looking for another way to go down here. I imagine it's in the region in that opening. We're going to have to keep the sonar going so we don't miss the entrance. It should be fine, though. I added the um, Cyclops thermal reactor and it's hot down here, so that should help offset some of our power usage. Should be able to fit through there. You two man, just on time. You're just on time. We're going in. <laughs> For better or for worse. Hopefully we don't get crushed. Although I have a shield, so. And I have a decent amount of batteries. We should be fine. Knock on wood. Should be fine. This looks like it could go down. There's a lava thing here. Maybe that's a clue that I need to go somewhere like around there. It's too big for the Cyclops, or too small for the Cyclops. The Cyclops is too big to fit down there. I don't think that's it. There's got to be an opening large enough for the Cyclops, right? They wouldn't tell you to come down here, give you a Cyclops death module to 1.7 kilometers, and then not have an obvious way for the Cyclops to get down. We just got to find it. I have the 1.7 kilometer upgrade for the prawn and the Cyclops, so the Cyclops should be able to get down here. Wherever that is. Okay, let me check something. We should be getting close to my other beacon. I put a beacon down here. Lava Kainite. That's like the marker for where the behemoth is. I wonder if that's where I need to go. Didn't I see, I thought I saw a big hole somewhere. Let's look around on the perimeter here. Should be safe. Okay, wait. They gave us directions in one of the notes, right? Okay. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system south, southeast of this position. I got this message inside. What is that place called? The lava plant. And it said I needed to go south, southeast from their position. Okay. Where is south, southeast from them? So... Which way am I facing now? The plant is over there, right? And it wanted me to go south, southeast from the plant. Well, this is east. Which way is south? There's a, a freaking leech right there. This way is north. So in the complete opposite direction. So you want me to go. It wants me to go that way, you know, you want me to go through. 
<laughs> oh, it wants me to go into the monster's territory. Shit. All right. Well, it looks like we have to go that way. So let's look around. Maybe we could do some scouting with the prawn first. Oh, he's right there. You know what? We're going in. It's said to go this way. We're going this way. It said south, east. So I think we have to go behind the facility, past it. We're going to get attacked again for sure. Doesn't seem like there's anything we could do about that. I'm draining batteries pretty quickly here. Two batteries gone already? Wait, how am I losing batteries that fast? Okay, I think it's just an audio glitch. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is going down. This has to be it. Okay. My batteries are draining so fast. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, this has to be it. This is going down. Bro. Okay. All right, there's something weird going on with the batteries. Let's engine powering down. Let's see what's going on here. Turn off the lights. Try to be stealth. Okay, I turned off the lights, but the lights are still on. Interesting mechanic. We have a leech. Okay, yeah, that that's a glitch. We're glitching out. Weird. It's using power from this one, but not the first one. What about this other side? I can hear him roaring. I think his roaring could be sonar. But hopefully he doesn't come down here. Okay, we have a leech. We're just going to have to leave the leech. Engine powering up. Let's keep looking around. The batteries are fine. It's just glitching out. Some sort of audio glitch. Okay, where are we going? Look for an opening. Could this be where I need to go? It's kind of tight. Okay. So I think we're safe here. Wow, this thing is really bugging out, huh? Okay. Let's go on foot. Engine powering down. We're at 1356. Maybe it's lighting up because of the lava. Get off of here. It is very bright down here. Okay. So the nice thing is the heat will recharge the batteries. The temperature changes it and you empty it again. Oh, that could be, yeah, that could be it. It could be like emptying and then recharging because of the thermal upgrade I put on here. Jesus, that sounded close. Okay. I think we're fine. Well, I mean, we got to look around, right? We're never going to find where we need to go if we don't look around. So we'll just leave the Cyclops here and hopefully it's fine. We'll save. <laughs> we'll save. If it gets destroyed, the game is going to mysteriously crash. Just saying. Let me get some food, bruh. Okay. Uh, let's see how we're doing over here. 4177. We should be going up. Yes, it's charging. Okay, good. So it'll keep charging. You can fit with the Cyclops through that hole? The hole up ahead, we can fit through there. Let me scout ahead first. I'm gonna scout ahead first just to be extra safe. 
But if we can actually fit, that would be amazing. Yes, barely. Okay. Let me do a quick scout first, though. Let's grab some more water and some food. Maybe another health kit. And let's go. Launch me. Oh yeah, this opens up. Okay, this is definitely where we need to go. 100%. Okay, yeah, we could totally go through here. Okay, wait, I should mark this entrance. Let's get a beacon on this. Okay, what should we call this entrance? Hmm. Oh. I am what you see. Want to help you. Okay, this is definitely the right way. She wants to help. Okay. We're coming. I'm coming. Okay, let me grab some more beacons. All right, let's drop a beacon at the entrance here. Okay, so right here. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, that's definitely the hole. Okay. So like right about here. Godzilla. Entrance to four one point four K hole. Lava hole. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Just a one more okay, that's good enough. Alright. Boom. Alright, let's go. He wants to help her, she's just hungry? Oh, hell no. I am not becoming fish food. Engine not again. Once was enough. Or was it twice? I don't remember anymore. We're gonna say twice was enough. <laughs> just to be safe. Twice was enough. There's no third time. Let's use this. Godzilla over there, freaking throwing a tantrum, bruh. Chill. Oh, we should get some good juicage in here. Juice my batteries. Whoa. Do I even need this sonar here? No, I don't need sonar. We can clearly see what the heck's going on. Alright, well, it looks like straight ahead. Straight ahead! Oh! Got freaking leeches again. I probably can't swim through the lava, so let's not try that. Go around. Oh! Okay. No. No. He sees me! Back it up. Back it up. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so we're not going in there. Not with this thing. Okay, let me figure out how I can back it up. Oh! Okay, let's do it like this then. Ooh, can I go this way? Maybe I can sneak around and there's an opening over here somewhere. No, this is a dead end. Okay, so we have to go... Ooh, it is lagging pretty bad here. We have to go through there, unfortunately. Okay, lava doesn't seem to be hurting the Cyclops. That's good. 
Whoa, it is really lagging. Let me turn off the sonar. Wow, we're at 100% and fully charged the batteries. Awesome. Okay, so we need to look for a place to let the prawn out, but not in the lava. Ooh. That's gonna be tricky. Maybe I can park right next to this cave wall here. Let's try that. Let's see how close we are. Okay, we're pretty close. How is this? Bad. Where's my other camera? Pretty bad. Maybe... I can park it right above this rock. If I can get it right above the rock, the prawn can come in and out there. That might work. Just push him with the shield. No, no, we're good. Last time he shoved me. We're good, we're good. We're going to prawn this. Okay, so the prawn should be able to get in and out right here. Let's try it. Okay, I think we might have just got another leech or something. But that's okay. We're right above lava. Hey, what's wrong with you? Is he attacking? Wow, we have a lot of leeches. Let's see. Is power still going up with all the leeches? <laughs> okay. Even with the leeches. I mean, there's no way to get the leeches off. Right? So, okay, what if we do this? Just take out all the cells. It is lagging pretty bad here. Just in case we get so many leeches that they drain faster than the lava can keep up. Let's get all these cells out. If they drain one battery, whatever. We'll de-leech on the way home. Alright, let's go. You can turn on the shield to remove all leeches. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do that on the way out then. Oh, perfect. Well, it's right at the cusp, but it worked. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so we can see the facility. I saw it. Now it's a question of, if, can we get to it? Right there, there's green light right there. Should we go to the green light? Let's go. A warper? Are you kidding me? Do not warp me out of the prawn. He is right there. We got to go right underneath him, unfortunately. Oh, he's right there. He's not happy. There's a light here. Oh, I didn't bring any keys. They bring the keys. I keep forgetting the stupid freaking keys. What key do you need? You need the blue one. Jim. Jim. Well, we got to go back for a key. This is awkward. Wait, let's mark the entrance to make it easy to find. They're going to mark it. Primary containment facility. I'm making statements now. Okay. All right, so we need to go back and get some Welcome, get some keys to get in here. I left. My, I forgot my keys. I forgot my car keys. We need to go back home.
Godzilla. Ooh, there's something moving in there. That's pretty cool. I thought I saw something swimming in the lava. Beacons don't fly, they float. Float for me. What's up, homie? Just passing through. I'm peaceful. Be cool. Okay, he's swimming away. You better swim away. You know what's up. You don't want none of this. I hear a warper. I swear to God, if I can figure out how to turn off all power to the warpers, we're shutting them all down. What the heck is he doing? Oh, maybe he's going for the leeches. He's not attacking the Cyclops, is he? Let's get up. Hey. Let me in. How's the Cyclops doing? Is it under attack? No, I think they're going for the leeches is what they're going for. That's fine. Okay, let's get some keys. How are we doing for power? We got inside, so that's a good sign. Okay. So the leeches are not draining faster than we're charging. Okay, good. Let me in. Okay. So, bring a purple, bring an orange, bring a blue. I got my car keys. Get out of here. Boom, boom. Okay, let's save again in case the game needs to mysteriously crash. <laughs> Forward! I have my car keys. No, oh my god. He teleported right next to me? He spawned right there. You cannot just spawn guys right next to me. That's an illegal move. We're in. Okay, let's turn off some of these beacons for now. Let's try to minimize. Let's turn off everything except the prawn. We will turn the Cyclops and then the other ones back on when we need them later. Oh. Lag. Oh my god, we're teleporting. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Evacuate immediately. Is this not a drill? Ion cube fabricator. A fabricator? Special equipment is required. Oh, you do have to drill it. Hey. Let me drill you. There's no drill icon. Oh. They said it's an ion cube fabricator. I got three.
light from the heavens. That sounded so wrong, Crush. <laughs> what do you mean? We're a wholesome stream most of the time. Okay, this is taking a while. So we'll have to come back later. Seems like maybe it's like three to five minutes and then it makes another one. Oh, alien technology. Oh, gods. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Empty? Nanobots, not empty. Unusual box. Okay, let's let's read these. What is this? Okay, so the organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Oh. Although it would function perfectly at, well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. There were nanobots in that quote-unquote empty container. Scan shows some form of advanced nanobots inside the seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is possible to ascertain their... It is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. We're going to release them. Translation device. This device stores linguistics data for over a thousand different languages? The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Oh, this sounds really helpful. Can I take that? Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages and the term CNN Live appears many times in the device's data. It's important. Its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. Scan data. Ion cube fabricated. This device appears to be the origin of a raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes, which power smaller Leydian systems, likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant. We've been there. This device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Okay. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Life specimen sermon. Huh. Okay. Well, what's this thing? A crescent artifact. A tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to this planet. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. So it sounds like the kind of thing we use when we like tag a whale. That's what the aliens use to tag leviathans to study them. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts. And there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. The Warpers. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology or even of the aliens themselves. Whoa. So maybe they were some kind of rock... Rockman? Rock construct people. Oh, this is finished. We can mine it again. Sure. Okay, there's another door there, and there were some other things to observe over there. He's shooting through the wall. I saw that. I don't even know if I need these, but they're giving them to me, so I may as well take them. Okay, there's something up there. Be cool, bro. Last time, one of those things bit me. An ancient blade. Whoa, there's like an organism in here. Strange. Oh, it's a carving. 
This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognizable natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain this similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to 4th century BC and influenced the development of the ancient Chinese philosophy. What? The concept of yin yang is universal since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be necessary existential understanding in some form and all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of two circles into opposed and infinitesimally small points is one logical way to represent this understanding. Yin and yang. Ancient earth blade. An ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century. Wow. So these aliens have had an interest in Earth for a very long time. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. What? This thing decapitated seven people? Am I reading this right? Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state. Yeah. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient... Space foreign civilization engaged in the superstitious study of less developed species. Who are you calling less developed? A circle, circular object. Okay. I found a plate. Let's have dinner. Oh, it's a holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. Oh, there do not appear to be any other devices in range. An alien statue. Its artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. Ah, so like their religion. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upwards towards the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of religious importance, or even gravitational pull of their home solar system. Whoa. This is so cool. I mean, I doubt we're going to get to use any of this stuff, but this is cool. It adds like world building and lore to the game. This is really cool. I like this kind of stuff. Okay, this looks like the last one rudimentary tablet this device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities although its structure is rather less complicated rather less complex it may have served a similar purpose granting security access and storing relevant data and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support windows legacy there's alien data up there all right let's start with the alien data first Well, it's like a whole other floor up here. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. I got something called Enzyme 42 Project Data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to be Produce a unique substance referred to as enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the virus, the carobacteria infection, and other indigenous organisms. Oh, the specimen was captured and contained in a purpose built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the imports of interdependent flora and fauna via an on site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. So they found some kind of creature that made an enzyme to counteract the virus. They captured the creature, built like a zoo for it. But even with the zoo, the animal was still dying in the zoo that they made. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Ooh, so they were trying to make a vaccine. It just didn't work. What is that? Hello?
Preserved fetus. That's a fetus? Oh, that's a face. It has eyes. That's an eye right there. And it's mouth. Oh, it looks like one of the dudes out there, like the baby of that big dude swimming around. Whoa, is that its kid? Sea Emperor fetus, it is. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Oh, so then the alien they captured, the creature they captured was a sea emperor, and this was likely its kid. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. They hatched it manually from the egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract, so they intentionally killed it. They removed it from the egg before it was mature, knowing that it would die, it seems, just to harvest it. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen's digestive tract. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. You fool! You killed it! Okay. What's this? Whoa, did that just move? No, I'm seeing things. What the hell was that? Something, <laughs> something just reached out and tried to grab me. Preserved egg casing. Sea Emperor egg casing. Well, this is a lot. Sea Emperor casing. Shell composition. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon compost. Composite. Suggesting a sense of gestation period. The Savithan species may have may give birth just once per century. Perhaps just once in their lifetimes. No wonder why they didn't want to wait for it to hatch. It takes a hundred years? The Leviathan gives birth once per hundred years. Or maybe even just once in its lifetime. That doesn't sound... No, there's no way once in its lifetime. How does it reproduce then? How do the species grow? If it's only once per lifetime, that will slowly send a species into extinction. There's no way. That doesn't make any sense. Shell casing incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside. So that's why they took it out. Because the incubation period was longer than they were willing to wait. Since they were under such threat. We read in a different document that these aliens had lost 100 billion people to the virus. So they seemed pretty desperate and they didn't want to wait any longer. So they cut it open and killed it. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open the eggs and remove the fetus prematurely. Yeah. It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. Oh, okay. They produce multiple eggs, maybe, but just in one time. Maybe. Having only one egg in its lifetime, though, doesn't sound right. There's no way a species can propagate mating, breeding only once in its entire lifetime. It will slowly go to extinction doing that. There's no way. So maybe they do have multiple. Maybe it's like a turtle. They lay lots of eggs, but only, you know, every once in a blue moon. Okay, so we went upstairs. Let's... So we'll use the staircase as a point of reference. Let's search from here, going the wall and see... Following the wall and see what's out there. Okay. Oh. Sh 
sure. Okay, so we know there's a teleporter there. Awesome. Let's keep looking around before we open that though. Teleporter right near the stairs. What's this? Is this another teleporter? This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Oh, I know that egg. I don't remember. That's the EO egg. No, it is the EO egg. Yeah, I recognize that egg. It's the electric EO. So they have eggs from all the different animals on the planet. Integrating new PDA data. The Emperor Leviathan Research. Whoa, what is that picture? Specimen size category categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate the specimen. Whoa, this is a lot. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms. Whoa. So it's like a whale. It's like um one of those whales that eats only plankton. Reproduction. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on the planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. That's why they came to this planet. Because all of their worlds were being infested. They were having like an outbreak. And they found this planet, which was completely virus free. And so they began studying it. It would remain to be explained by McCann. Wait, what? It would remain to be explained by what McCann. Mechanism, the enzyme is being delivered. Okay. Comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicates the specimen captured by the researchers is approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species. Whoa. So it was a granny. This thing was really old. A grandpa. While a healthy emperor... Specimen may have held some potential as a cure. It is unlikely any research subject survived quarantine procedures. Wow, so it sounds like in their desperation to find a cure, they actually made things worse on this planet. Like, it seems like... Well, that's a cool looking egg. The cure is here somewhere. And the aliens just botched it. They completely screwed up. I guess they were just in such a panic. Maybe they weren't thinking right, and they completely messed it up. Okay, so this is like an, a room for all the different eggs on this planet. Whoa, look at that egg. I haven't seen that one out in the wilds yet. That one's pretty cool. That It looks like it was in the process of putting an egg in there. Ooh, I haven't seen that one either. That one is big. So there are things that lay those eggs somewhere on the planet, it seems. Some of these other ones I do recognize. I've seen some of these other ones. That one I've definitely seen. I know that one. Okay, let's go to the next room. Those freaking eels. I hate those things. They sneak up on you. And then they just sit next to the sea moth and zap, zap, zap. And before you know it, you lost like 50% durability. On your sea moth. Oh, two teleporters. Oh, oh, wow. Okay.
So there's another teleporter right here. There's a teleporter in that room. Then this was the egg room, and this is another teleporter. This is the room, the key room. Okay. So is this a teleporter room also then? Are there four teleporters? So is it teleporter, science room, teleporter, data room, teleporter, science room, data room going around? It is. So that's how the layout is. So there is four teleporters. So there's the entrance and then to the right of the entrance is a teleporter. To the right of that is a data room. To the right of that is a teleporter. To the right of that are the stairs, and then you keep going in that same pattern. So then this should be some kind of data room. It is, okay. I've cracked the case. Oh, this is all the flora. So the other room was for fauna, and this one was for flora. Okay. They mentioned that in one of the notes we got. So this is where they were studying all the plant all the plants. And in the other room they were studying all the animals. I've seen all these plants. We have most of them in our garden. Oh. Oh, what is this? I can scan this. Inflow pipe. Some sort of... Oh, it's a pipe network. What did that say? Peepers entering the containment facility. They're sneaking in. What is this like a, a fish that swims up the air pipe? <laughs> I used to have fish that would do that in the fish tank. They were so weird. They would just swim in the air pipe and then go in places they're not supposed to and then come back out when it was feeding time. They were the weirdest fish. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed a high quantity of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. So these pipes lead to the surface. And then the fish are fine swimming in for whatever reason fish do that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's fun for them. Yeah, but I remember those fish in the fish tank I had were so weird. They would treat it like a freaking roller coaster ride. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Enzyme 42. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. All specimen scans are carrying the enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacterium. Specimen stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before emptying the pipes. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on the planet has survived since the bacterial outbreak. So it's the peepers. The peepers are spreading the enzyme around. Oh, there's data here. Integrating new PGA data. There's a <laughs> there's a fish right there. Wait, look at there it go. They're just zooming along. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled. Independent Independently of other safeguards, data on the water composition has been recorded. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside of the facility, while microorganisms and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Yeah, that makes sense. Oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Yeah, so they're bringing in water and fish from the surface and then something is giving them enzyme 42 it sounds like and then shooting them back out the other pipes back around the planet mm, okay there was a way to go down how huh? to can go back down 
Okay, so this was uh, back out. I need food and water too. I brought some with me. Maybe one of those teleporters will take me to an island with some trees I can eat. <laughs> I want to eat some trees, bruh. Ooh, there's one of those air air plants in there. Oh, those are barnacles. You see those on the um, the reef whales. Okay, so this is just some sort of pump station, this room. Okay, so then this was the data room. So then that means the room next to this is another teleporter room. If the pattern stays the same. Four teleporters, two data rooms, one entrance, one locked door. That's eight rooms, right? Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's an octagon. So this should lead to a teleporter. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there are four teleporters here. Okay. Well. Let's see. Okay. I kind of want to open the shortcuts first. Before we go through there. Let's do that. Let's see where these shortcuts go before we go through the boss door. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's take this first teleporter and see where it goes. Open the shortcut. The temperature immediately dropped 14 degrees C. We're somewhere higher. We're not deep below anymore. 278 meters. Is this a cave or is this water? This is a cave. Whoa, where the frick am I?